So hello and welcome to another one. Right, yes, like wheat drops around quite quickly, doesn't it really? So in the last video, you heard me say that there were, these two have arrived today and this is number two. Now, um, if you recall, we looked at the current Airfix and Drevel B17Gs available. And I thought, I saw this one, I thought, oh, do you know what? I had a lot of fun with the Dambuster Lancaster, which was the old Airfix Lancaster, about a similar sort of vintage to this. Yeah. And I thought, do you know what? Let's give it a try. You know, it's it was ten ten pounds. If it's if it's no good, it's no good. If it you know, if it actually is quite fun to do, then hey, you know, that's kind of cool. Interestingly, I can already see this has got raised rivets. Now, if you remember my videos on the airfix and rebel ones the old airfix on the rebel ones i pointed out they'd actually gone for flush riveting on the wings but then inserted a picture a photograph taken of the b17g at duxford the one in the american air museum not sally b from the back with the light coming from the other direction so they're all in silhouette and you can clearly see the wing is covered in rivets raised rivets so yeah this one could actually be more accurate in some regards already than uh, than the than the current offerings. But anyway, I can see a few bits where it looks a bit a bit off, a bit funny, like here and this bit. But the thing to remember about these Airfix pho uh, photographic box arts, and that is for a Lancaster. This is the Dunbuster Lancaster. There's the upkeep mine. I want to say that's the upkeep mine there. Well, that's the Lancaster tail. <laughs> that's that's kind of amusing. That is a Lancaster tail section there. Um, yes, is they were purposely built really badly. You see, there's gaps here. The paintwork's not going to be the best it could be. Yeah, and basically, because when they first brought these out, and they went to the American market, this is the story as I understand it. The models were built too well, and they weren't believably buildable by little Johnny or little Susie, you know. So they had to build them on purpose poorly. So you got really bad, <laughs> really bad pitch. And this could actually put, and this used to put me off when I was younger, because I didn't know the story. It's like, oh, oh, that looks rubbish. Look, it's, it's got this, and this doesn't fit properly, and that, you know. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Not that my younger self would have done much good with it anyway, but anyway, I was never allowed to mud build on these. This is another thing my dad said, oh, you're not allowed to build that, and it's like the Lancaster, you're not ready for them yet. And he was quite right. He wasn't an oppressive father. He was quite correct in, I wasn't ready. There was a serious amount of glass on these aircraft, to keep clear. And the point was, he didn't want me getting frustrated because I fouled it up. And what would have been a reasonably expensive kit for the time, uh, I mean, I think you'd have been looking at about £15, 15 whole pounds or something like this. <laughs> or 25 I think I remember Lancaster's being 25 I mean, compared to the prices these days, you're going, I wish they were that much still, but obviously, comparatively, you know, they weren't. Um, so, yes, the... Again, opportunity. We do actually have one of this kit built in this house already. It is one dad built, and it is a bit of lace. It's in the loft. It actually belongs to my brother. Uh, but on that basis, the bit of lace is already in the house. I, I will be getting a different set of markings for this one. I don't know if there's an option B in the kit. We'll have a look at that. But I will be getting a different set of markings for this one. So that, uh, you know, if, if we get them all together, they can all look... Superb and four absent different flying fortresses. Right, let's open the box. How much further ado? Is it? Is it still? Oh, it has been opened. Oh, has it been photoed to the ends? It has. It's, it's put some photo there. That's not a problem. Or we'll to get the uh, the old hobby knife. That's what they were there for. Alternative decals included, it says. Okay, well, maybe maybe we can. Let's see what there is. Oh, hang on. 
Free gift. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if the chappy is included. That's amazing. Little pin badge. Look at that. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. That is amazing. I love it. I, I absolutely. I, I was like, that, that's, that's, oh, thank you. That's really, really made me a genuine reaction moment there. <laughs> I did not know that was in. Oh, wow. That was really, really kind. Thank you. Oh, I, oh, I, I do like that. It's excellent. <laughs> right. Wow. That's caught me off to guard a bit. Oh, dear. Wow. Thank you. So here we are. There's your bit of information about the D17. You can pause that and read it. Right. So it starts off, oops, sorry, with the the cockpit. Very simple cockpit. In fact, I remember Dad building the other one. Wow. <laughs> bring back memories of that wow <laughs> this is cool so yeah so the cockpit and then if anyone watches harry houdini i know i mention him a lot you can see it does actually follow the usual form one two three four five six seven eight nine you follow the numbers roll along building the uh the chin turrets and what we noticing straight away folks we have a crew we even have a tail gunner we have a tail gunner a bombardier Waste gunners, flight crew. Oh, this is begging to be done in flight, isn't it? This is absolutely pleading with me to be done in flight. There's even a ball turret gunner. This is pleading to be done in flight. The traps you're going to see, you've got. And is missing a navigator, maybe. We could use probably use a navigator. We'll have a look at that when I come to build it. But, uh, oh wow. So you move on to the tail. All very nice and simple, straightforward. The aircraft's coming together quite quickly. Very nice. Uh, so I think, yeah, don't glue these. You can make the wheels go up and down on it. I believe um, Jonathan's one, the one-on-one -on -one wheel, is actually starting, he posed it's starting to come down. And then just final closing up there. Okay. <laughs> um... There's your paint scheme, a bit of lace. Well, you actually are sort of semi oriented correctly, so yeah. So it says you need light brown, black, white, Brunswick green, yellow, French blue, silver. Now, this would be OD. That would be OD. Olive oh, drab. Using conjunction with the box artwork, yes. So if we look at the box art, see it is actually OD on the tail there. Let's see if you can see that side. Just got olive trap, not light brown. Um, but that's where your research comes in, isn't it? But uh, I can't crow too highly about research. I was going to be doing Don Gentile's P51B Mustang. And I put the wrong type of aerial on the top. There's two aerials to choose one to go there. I put the wrong one on it. So, yes, research. Make sure you, once you've done it, make sure you pay attention to it. Um, yes, nothing too strenuous there. Probably mount it nicely on one of those flying stands, like a glamorous link. Yeah, looking forward to this. It's going to be nice. Right. How much are you blown away by that? So it did sell the box, alternative decals included. It appeared to be just the one aircraft here. Just one tail number, there's a bit of lace. They look to be in good shape actually, considering the, the age of the kit. Is there, is, there a, is there a date on this anywhere? Let's see. <laughs> they definitely won't be coming to <laughs> Um, I don't think I can see a date anywhere on the instruction sheet. <coughs> it's got to be 60s, 70s, surely. Oh, there's a thing there. Well, it says Fly Fortress. 
Uh, no data I can see. I'll pop these safely in there. So here we have our B17. Some bits all, all over the place in there, but it's to be expected. Th this is how they came. I don't, I don't think they even need to come with bags. But all the clear parts are there. Yeah, some little thick for today's. Well, see, but they look fine. They look fine. It's definitely an older kit than the, than the Lancaster is. So it goes on the top. Yes, yes. Let's see if we can get the. There you are, though. Certainly looks like a B17 to me, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't it, you? I think it does. I doubt you can get a... Yeah, uh, I doubt you can get a um, masking set for these. <laughs> be great. I'll have, I'll have to see if you can get, it, get a B17 masking set for the old Fort, Airfix Fortress. And just think back to that B fifty two. Now you'll see me. I'm just getting this out of the box. Not doing any clean up at all. Just literally lining up the bits as best I can. There we are. Yes, I'm holding it together. But only have fingers underneath now. So I've got no real worries about the fit about this because once it's been cleaned up properly and actually been glued, that's going to go together really nicely, isn't it? Getting good positive waves about this. And again, the rivets are there. So yeah. Engines all one piece. Nice simple kit. This is probably going to be a good sort of... It's going to take some work, don't get me wrong. It's going to be... It's not going to be a walk in the park. A milk run, shall we say. Um... But uh, no, I think it should be a a fun model to build still, and I think you know with a little bit of work like the Lancaster, you know, if I grab that, this is a kit from around the same period. This is probably an eighties release of this uh, B seventeen. But just a reminder, you know. With modern paints and and that, and taking your time, you can actually still get a, a fairly decent model out of these older models. So, and people can do it even better than that. I'm sure they could do. I know they could do better than that. That's the best of my ability, and I'm pleased with that. I'm I'm comfortable with that. But uh, yes, I, I'm sneaking on the side there. Um, yeah, I think these I think these kits have a lot, a lot to offer. <laughs> Exhibit A. Yes, you can see a bit of silvering there. Oh well, can't see it when the light's not shining on it like that. Even really if I adjust this light, see. Even yeah, if I bring it further over, it disappears and goes onto that front one, which you didn't notice before. So. You know, it's it's one of those, isn't it? But yeah, that is the FX B seventeen G, the old FX B seventeen G, and I thoroughly look forward to it. Um, yeah, I just need to go and decide what I'm going to do with those now. Now I've still I've had a thought. I was going the FX G model, the newer one. I'm going to do as Ice Cold KT, uh, which was an aircraft of the four hundred first bomb group. 
um, which was the unit that was stationed at the airbase where Fabi Firkin, the Lancaster, the B, the the the, the, uh, the B two Lancaster, the radio, radio engine one, went into visit there. Is it Denthorpe? Do you Thorpe? I think it is. They were based at. It went on an educational trip there, um, and I thought, oh, actually, how cool would it be to have one of the B seventeens model one of the B seventeens from the same airfield and have them sat next to each other, so I can sort of set. Um, Ice Cold Cage survived the war, so there's a good chance it was there on the base when Fanny Firkin arrived. So yeah, yeah. So not sure what to do this one as. So I, I will, I will have a hunt through what transfers I've already got, and I will um, have a look online as well. Obviously, gotta have a look online. But yes, no. I hope you've, hope you've uh, enjoyed this little delve into the past with me, and I, I look forward to getting this one done. Um, in fact, by the time this video has come out, I may have even done it by now because I really, I really am looking forward to this. <laughs> this is going to be, this is going to be quite, quite special. And I must say once again, thank you so much for that. That's that's blown me away. That's that's so cool. That's so cool. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Oh, thank you for watching. Take care, stay safe, be well. I'll see you next time. Bye.